All on CRN. Don't miss it. Welcome to Lifestyle Buzz Today with Orlando. Fresh, innovative, entertaining talk about topics we are all in one way or another involved with. And now, here's your host, Orlando Burgos. All right, world. Here we come, ready or not. And this is going to be a fun show today because we're at that stage of the year where getting really viable guests is kind of... You know, difficult. Everybody's doing shopping. And I already told them, you don't want to come to my show? Fine. Just make sure the Ferrari is the right color red or I'm going to have it out for you next year. So, are you ready for the holidays there, Matt? Uh, no. <laughs> Not at all. Not even close. I haven't even done Christmas shopping. I'm waiting for the post-Christmas deal. Well, yeah, I mean, what the heck, man? Yeah. Just remember, if you cannot find Ferrari for me, mm. Lamborghini would be just as well. You wanted bright pink, right? <sighs> I'll take it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it stands out. I, I mean, you're you're Orlando Burgos. You know, we got to set you up right. I'll tell you what. Yeah. I'll put my there you go. colored glasses. There you go. Right as long there. As they match my glasses, done deal, man. There you go. It now, works. I don't know what the heck is going on, but this year... Of course, every year about this time, we always say the same thing. Um, not long ago, I was being sung happy birthday, and then I'm in front of a turkey, having a f- blast, and now I'm knee-deep in jingle bells. I mean, it's like in the wink of an eye, uh, I'm getting ready for all and sign, and uh, that's it. Done. 2019 is here, and man, oh, man. What a year has been. We talked about it last week and uh, the fact that people groan and moan and bitch and cry and everything else. But every year is the same thing. Um, one of the things that I do suggest, and I suggested it then, I'll suggest it again. Don't go through all kinds of resolutions and things because all you do is make yourself miserable when you cannot keep them. best thing to do is just be happy, play it day by day, be good to other people. Are you a resolutions guy? I have to be. I have to. Pre- I have to pretend I care about myself. Well, <laughs> at, you know at the, what? At the I start mean, of every year, you yeah. kind of you kind of have to, because you every every at the end of every year you go you kind of do a life in review, a year in review, and you go, oh, I want to change that, or I want to learn that, or I yeah. want to do this, or I want to do that. The start of the year is my time to do it. Of yeah. course, it only lasts about I two mean, days. Okay, but. <laughs> that, uh, that was going to be my next question. <laughs> if you make a resolution, do you keep it? Or is it just like... Well, I think an important piece band-aid. is making resolutions that are realistic. So if you're saying, well, I'm going to go to the gym four days out of the week starting uh, the, the first of the year. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're not. Because one, the gyms are going to be slammed. Two, you're going to give up about two weeks in. You're going to be done. You have to hold that new lifestyle for 21 days minimum for it to start to take effect and become a habit. But a lot of people don't do you that. You know what? It, what you're saying is very, very true. Um, I measured my sugar because I'm a diabetic. Yeah. And I measure my sugar, I don't know, sporadically. But not long ago, maybe over six months ago, for one reason or another, it was kind of high. Really? Yeah. And I had to change my tune about that. 30 pounds less later. Hey, congratulations. I feel good. My sugar is level. So it's a matter of trying, regardless of when of the year you get started. And setting realistic expectations. That's very true. And with that in mind, let's set some realistic expectations with some commercials. We'll be right back.
Do you owe back taxes to the IRS? News flash, the president has changed the tax laws. And now, you may be able to pay the IRS less. If you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes, the tax doctor can help you pay the IRS as little as possible allowed by law. There are new tax laws for business owners, the self-employed, even W-2 workers. If you have a back tax problem or a few years of unfilled returns, new help to save you money is now here. Call right now to see how the new tax Tax laws can help you. Plus, right now we'll waive the consultation fee and give you a free tax savings report. Attention, business owners, the self-employed, and W-2 workers. Make this free call to the tax doctor now and learn how to take advantage of the new tax laws that may help you pay the IRS less. 800-985-1610. 800-985-1610. That's 800-985-1610. All right, very good. We're back. This is Lifestyle Buzz, and today we are freeform. We're going to be talking about anything and everything, and in between that, uh, Matt was think, telling me something very interesting. She's that he's thinking about moving to Texas. That's one of your things. Yeah, so we, I mean, we briefly talked about realistic expectations for a New Year's resolution, and I'm hesitant on doing this one because I don't want to live in California anymore. I want to go to Texas. Um, and But I don't know if I want to make that, that, that edict quite yet. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It, I think moving away from your st home state is mm -hmm. tough. Now, I've had the advantage of being able to travel a lot and I've lived in different places because I was in the, when I was in the military, we had no choice. Yeah. We went where they were told us to go. And I have lived in Texas. I've done San Antonio and I've done Dallas, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's when I became a Dallas Cowboy fan, way back then. But uh, the funny thing is, is that at that time, Texas was like a state of mind almost. You know, yeah. like the, everything big, everything, you know. Everything's bigger in Texas. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? It's still like that. A little bit more political now, you know. Kind of toned down a little bit, you would say? I would say that there's more of a mix. I, I, okay. I think I find it very interesting. Okay. Business-wise, I mean, at one point, it was either you were in the oil business. Yeah. Or cattle. Yeah. Or Rancher. get out. <laughs> yeah, that was it. <laughs> oil, cattle, move. <laughs> now there's all kinds of industry, all kinds of stuff happening. As a matter of fact, California loses something like 1,400 industries a month mm -hmm. to Texas. Well, I'll think of all the taxes, but that's political, and we're not, this your show isn't particularly political. No. But I mean, to, like you like you mentioned, Texas is changing right now, and we saw that in the past election where mm -hmm. uh, the uh, a Democratic sen uh, senator is almost elected. Yeah. So, like yeah. you said, people are going from these um, these east the east west coast ba major cities that are largely run by by Democrats to Texas and altering altering uh, altering it in a way to where you're having this boom of industry, especially in Austin, where the entertainment industry has just taken off. One of the things that I see, like in many other states, including Texas, yeah, is that there's more of a normal mix which should be like that mm. you know it cannot be only cowboys and republicans it yeah. cannot be like oh yeah where here in california for one reason or another there's an indecision about things there's a there's a fake nature to it it's a game is yeah i yeah. mean like like the other day i was looking at the this big ad the new thing in California, the salad pizza. Have you seen that? No. What is a salad? It's a, it's a, it's a big <laughs> pizza thing full of salad. I'm going like, wake up, California. That's, that's just salad with flat bread, for mm -hmm. God's sake. Is that a pizza? <laughs> don't give me that jazz. I mean, it, don't try to fool me for me. It's got no melted cheese and gooey whatever it, sauce. What? You know, well, you know, it's it's like a vegan pizza, I I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but okay, but you know what? It has to still be mixed with something to kind of like give it the. Oh, if they, you, if you put up, listen, okay. you put the, that stuff on an empty plate, and you put it right next to this 
veggie pizza, they call uh -huh. it, salad pizza. It's the same thing. It's just flatbread yeah. with loose pizza, loose <laughs> leaves on top. <laughs> so, but you know what? It, it seems to me that we are here always welcoming to the strange. I mean, like, we were the people that invented the pet rock, for God's sakes. <laughs> it started here in California, you know. So Yeah. We are, we, you're too young for to remember the pet rock. I, I know about the pet rock. Oh, yeah. yeah no, you know thing. what? But you have not lived until you had one with a blue hair, you know. I, mean, like, I had I, I had one in the car. Listen, y'all y'all messed up and bought tame pet rocks. I went out in the wild and got one. Yeah. You got see, no, you got a rock. You got <laughs> no, a I got, rock. I got a wild rock. A little harder to handle. <laughs> oh no, uh, it was the funniest time in the in the world, you know, <laughs> because everybody's going around with a little pet mm -hmm. rock. Hey, what's your name? <laughs> Susie. <laughs> Susie mine is Fred, you know. <laughs> And it was like crazy stuff, you know, like, but everybody seemed to be able to have fun with whatever. Mm -hmm. Now, today, everything is like very serious. You know, it's like you, you're going to tell a funny story and first you have to like I mean, run it over to yourself and see, like, is there something that's going to be like getting me in trouble because I say whatever, whatever. You oh, know. God, now it's now it's so bad that you have to worry about what you say now nine years later that's how bad things have gotten not only that but if people know you for a long long time mm -hmm. they'll bring back mm -hmm. something that you said seven years ago now they don't like you anymore now now all of a sudden you don't have a job very true very <laughs> now true. you don't have a job yeah mm -hmm. i mean like it's uh things have gotten a little bit too too little crazy i mean but you're right it doesn't matter where you go. I mean, you just came back from what Tennessee. Yes, I bet you anything you probably saw a little bit of a different change there, easier lifestyle maybe. Oh yeah, Every, everyone was very laid back, very very polite. Um, yeah, everyone said hello, opened the door for you. You know, hey, how you doing, sir? You know, things like that. And coming from a state where you don't get that all the time, it's weird. You yeah. know. Well, I lived in a community near Toluca Lake. Mm -hmm for years, almost over 20 years. Mm -hmm. I knew the people that lived across the street from me until way, years way before yeah. they moved to Australia. The people who lived there, the move there, was a guy that you see on television all the time in the old Geico commercials. We became friends. Okay. Then there was a lady at Kitty Corner because their their daughters used to come and swim in our pool. Yeah. And then the daughters moved away, and then that's it. Outside of that, for the, the period of time, we used to walk our dogs in the neighborhood. And everything. Everybody just, like, with blinders, they walked by. You know. It was really a strange community because nobody knew anybody. Ah, that's weird. Like, nobody wanted to know anybody, you know? It's weird, but it sounds familiar. Yeah. You know, it was a very beautiful neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was no sidewalk. The lawns would go all the way to the streets and go with green and the maple trees were there. I mean, it was just a lovely, lovely, lovely neighborhood. Yeah. Except it was not neighborly at all. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you run across somebody that you knew would live at the other corner and you say hello and they kind of like grunt something and uh, uh. <laughs> it's like, okay, <laughs> And that's a, that was the end of that. Mm -hmm. But um, the funny thing is, is that where we live right now is a totally different type of community that everybody knows everybody. Mm -hmm. And I find that I, I'm the strange one because all of a sudden I've, I see people coming up to me say hello, and I'm like, uh, uh. You, you, <laughs> I'm the grunter now. You look at him and go, what are you going to do to me? Yeah, yeah, I'm, the, yeah, I'm, I'm the, that guy that grunts <laughs> now. So anyway. <laughs> Hey, Orlando, how you doing? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we need to go and take a little bit of a break here. Then we'll come right back with some more stuff. All right? Stay tuned.
Hey, Lorraine, do you realize that your mother, my mother-in-law, Chef Maria, has been serving Las Vegas since 1949? Yes, I do, Dennis. That's when she first met Howard Hughes, who fell in love with her cooking. And in 1955, she opened her first restaurant on Fremont Street. Yes, dear. And another great customer was Liberace. Wow. Then in 1962, while Frank Sinatra and the Rat Pack were causing global excitement on the Las Vegas Strip, your family opened their second restaurant. And in 1972, Elvis Presley began electrifying Las Vegas audiences and eating in our restaurants. You know, Lorraine, this is quite a town. There's only one Las Vegas. And there's only one bootlegger Italian bistro. Folks, when you're in Las Vegas, come visit us. We'll make you feel like you're part of our family. The Bootlegger Italian Bistro, conveniently located at 7700 Las Vegas Boulevard, South Strip. Visit our website at www.bootleggerlasvegas.com. Do you want to fly somewhere, anywhere in the world? Smart travelers call MyFlightSearch.com for the best deals on flight tickets. Going to Manila, Bangkok, London, how about Singapore? Call MyFlightSearch.com for the lowest flight tickets available. What about a local vacation? Let's say you want to fly to Vegas, Orlando, Miami, Los Angeles, or Denver. Pick up the phone and call MyFlightSearch.com right now. We have exclusive deals that you can't find anywhere else. The only way you can get these low airline prices is by calling us. We have so many low prices available, we can't possibly tell them to you right here and now. If you're flying somewhere anytime in the next six months and you want the lowest airline ticket prices anywhere, you owe it to yourself to save a ton of money. So pick up your cell phone and call MyFlightSearch.com right now. Call 800-445-3166. 800-445-3166. That's 800-445-3166. Call now. 800-445-3166. If Ernest Hemingway was alive today, would he say this to you? Shakespeare, Mark Twain, Edgar Allan Poe, all great writers. And after reading your book, I simply must add you to the list. Wait, you don't have a book yet. So make a free call to Page Publishing. Their expert staff can help you turn your book idea into a real book, a masterpiece that could someday make the bestseller list in hard copy and digitally all across the world. Page Publishing can help you completely take your idea for a book, write it, and publish it. So if you want to join the ranks of some of the most famous authors in the world, call now for a free information kit. Turn your book idea into publishing gold. Make a free call right now to Page Publishing. 800-378-3212. 800-378-3212. 800-378-3212. That's 800-378-3212. back and this is Lifestyle Buzz Freeform Radio today and uh, a little while ago we uh, mentioned diabetes and what an evil thing that is and uh, you know what, it is I, I happen to have diabetes and uh, it was out of control for a while and stress does that to you um, the diabetes works by weakening your system and whatnot. anyway we lost Penny Marshall whom I've always thought to be such a wonderful, wonderful person. And, and I, you know, at 75 dying of diabetes, I could not understand how that could have happened with those, so much treatment, with so much uh, stuff going on, medicines and all of that. I cannot imagine anyone actually dying of diabetes in today's day and age. I, I totally see that happening because uh, health sciences isn't an exact science quite yet. We don't have a one-stop cure-all for everything yet, you know, so you're going to have your ups and downs and your, your problems, and people are going to die from things that are totally treatable. It's just going to happen, you know. Well, I, I, I understand that. You know, you know what I mean? But yeah. he, he, here's the thing. Yeah. I was discovered to have diabetes 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. At first, I was like very reluctant to even admit the fact that I had diabetes. Yeah, you're in denial. Oh, big time, big time. Are you diabetes? Oh, no, no, no. That's, mm -hmm. that's for other people. Uh, then all of a sudden, I start feeling 
the symptoms. I started educating myself about what, what to expect and what, what is it all about. Mm-hmm. And I started then noticing that, yes, my tongue was always dry. And, uh, you know, so I started monitoring myself a little bit more. And, but I also started learning more and more and more about the medicines that are being given to me, you know, because I was giving one called Januvia that all of a sudden I have itches all over the place. You know, the, well, it turns out to be that I was allergic to certain ingredients in the Januvia. Mm-hmm. So, so you need to be in tune with what you put in your body too. And, uh, not too long ago, I found myself gaining quite a bit of weight, and my sugar got out of control. Mm-hmm. So I decided, no, no, no. Now I'm 30 pounds lighter, like I mentioned a little while ago. And I have to tell you, I noticed the change. My sugar doesn't go above 100, 110, which is like pretty cool. Mm-hmm. After being 300, you know? Yeah, and that's up there. So, you know. I have learned that, like, sometimes, I mean, I've had it as low as 56, which is very dangerous. Yeah. For, you know. Yeah, you're crashing. Yeah. So I have learned to take care of it right away, you know, like go have a little bit of orange juice, a little candy, whatever. Mm -hmm. But anyway, the the losing of Laverne and Shirley, Petty Marshall, I mean, did you ever watch the show, Laverne and Shirley? Uh, no, I did not. I, Penny Marshall was b- well before my time, unfortunately, so yeah. I'm not too familiar with her work. But you know what? I mean, you have probably seen some of the movies that she's always made, the big uh, mm-hmm. League of Their Own yep. type of seen stuff. That one. She was a great, great... She, she used to promote very watchable type shows, mm-hmm. you know? And the Laverne and Shirley was one that like, it was like really, really fun... Because in a sense, it brought to life the working middle class of the Midwest. They used to work at this brewery, you know, mm. and they had all this stuff. In today's world, to do that, uh, people would be criticizing the fact, oh, they're making, you're making fun of our, the working people. And the working man. Yeah. Even though the working man, more often than not, makes fun of themselves the most. Because they know it's this is reality. Why why be so serious? <laughs> you know what? These people put these shows on like like All in the Family and all of those. Yeah. That today would not be even allowed oh, to be produced. No, no way. I think of the honeymooners in twenty honeymooners. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. You know <laughs> the Fred. The, what was the guy's name? Uh, uh, Norton. Not uh, working in the sewers, you know. The, oh, oh no, you, you cannot even. Mention you hear that? that? Pow! Right off air. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, it used to be like, I think the simple life is what they brought forward, and I think in a way we kind of missed on that. Not today. Mm, yeah, but you also have to remember that there wasn't a whole lot of uh, of race integration back then either, right? Yeah. I remember watching the Tonight Show where people used to smoke on air. You know, like. Oh, yeah. Johnny Carson? <laughs> Tell me, Don Rickles was the best. Oh, Don Rickles was. Don a, Rickles. He was the, the, man. <laughs> the man. Bob Newhart was one, too. Bob that Newhart's a good one, too. Good one, too. We'll be right back. Hi, everybody. Michael Horn from CRNTalk.com. You know, we provide you with the best in talk radio. Eight channels of talk radio from radio on the left, radio on the right, sports talk, business talk, religious talk, Spanish talk, you name it, we've got talk radio for you. All at CRNTalk.com. Well, now we'll bring you video as well as audio. That's right. Watch your favorite shows like the Robert Conrad Show, the Fred Dreyer Program, What's Cooking Today, What's Cooking on Wine, The Lounge, and so many other shows in video right at our website, crntalk.com. You can also watch us on Roku. Just search CRN Talk, and you can watch us on Roku on any TV anywhere in the world. Also on Facebook Live. Go to facebook.com forward slash CRN Digital Talk. Facebook.com forward slash CRN Digital Talk. Roku, search CRN Talk. Check us out on Tiki Live and at crntalk.com. Video for you talk fans, all from CRN Talk. 
When you really want a new year to remember, you have got to get to Columbo's. Columbo's Italian Steakhouse and Jazz Club, Colorado Boulevard, Eagle Rock. It's that little neighborhood place you wish was down the street from you. Revelers of the world, heads up. It's not too late to plan the triumphant arrival of 2019 at New Year Central Columbo's. 323-254-9138. Do it right. What good is a New Year's without champagne and a meatball, I ask you? New Year's at Columbo's. You haven't lived until you've done it right. Great food, scintillating steaks, the freshest fish, Columbo family Italian specialties, party favors galore, and jazz to help bring in the new year on a festive note, and it won't break the bank. 323-254-9138. A Los Angeles tradition, especially on New Year's Eve. Columbo's, that little neighborhood place you wish was down the street from you. Columbo's, Banja. Columbo's, Happy New Year. Do you want to fly somewhere, anywhere in the world? Smart travelers call MyFlightSearch.com for the best deals on flight tickets. Going to Manila, Bangkok, London, how about Singapore? Call MyFlightSearch.com for the lowest flight tickets available. What about a local vacation? Let's say you want to fly to Vegas, Orlando, Miami, Los Angeles, or Denver. Pick up the phone and call MyFlightSearch.com right now. We have exclusive deals that you can't find anywhere else. The only way you can get these low airline prices is by calling us. We have so many low prices available, we can't possibly tell them to you right here and now. If you're flying somewhere anytime in the next six months and you want the lowest airline ticket prices anywhere, you owe it to yourself to save a ton of money. So pick up your cell phone and call MyFlightSearch.com right now. Call 800-445-3166. 800-445-3166. That's 800-445-3166. Call now. 800-445-3166. What are you going to do with your old car? You can try selling it. You could junk it. Or you could donate it to Heritage for the Blind. Your car will be towed away for free, and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1-800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats. It doesn't matter if your vehicle runs or not. It will be towed away for free, and you'll be supporting those that need help. Heritage for the Blind is a nonprofit organization that helps the visually impaired live fuller lives. Call right now to donate your car, and as a special thank you for calling, you'll receive a free three-day vacation voucher to many exciting locations. Call Heritage for the Blind right now, 1-800-785-9618. Donating is easy and your vehicle is towed away for free. Plus, you'll get a free vacation voucher. Call now, 1-800-785-9618. That's 1-800-785-9618. <laughs> We are back, and just to end this uh, diabetes thing, and then, and, and um, you know what? Take care of yourselves. Diabetes is really something that needs to be controlled, and with food, you can do a lot of things. You can, you know, use more leafy greens, eat peanut butter, salmon is great, grains, um, tuna, avocado, oranges, tomatoes. Use all of that as tools to bring your sugar down and to keep well nutrition because diabetes control is all about portions. It's all about being active, exercising, and not only that, but you also need to modify your way of life, less stress, plan things out better, keep active, okay? So there's no reason for my buddies out there to have diabetes anymore, or at least out of control diabetes. All right, take care of yourselves. I would miss you too much if something was to happen to any of you. Uh, man, um, the government is supposed to be shutting down. I guess it's. Uh, I believe it is shut down right now. Yeah, but you know what? A lot of people. Yeah, it. it listen, it's more of a mental thing because a lot of people go like oh the government's shutting down that's it we're gonna all die it does it, it affects certain people <laughs> it affects the politicians that's for sure and uh you know if you don't have any any 
They don't have that much loyalty to you, so you know, don't feel too bad. They they have plenty of money. Um, Amtrak, the Border Patrol, uh, Medicare, all that keeps on going. Social Security. For us who are retired, we're not going to lose anything. It'll keep on going. That's it. It doesn't. It doesn't shut down that. Um, you know, just relax, chill. It'll get over. This is more of a of a posturing thing. It's about you know like seeing who's a plain chicken. The best way I've, I've ever heard the the whole government thing when they start fighting and bickering was the government is like a machine. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's got full of cogs, full of gears, full of things that make it work. Yeah. And even though it's turning, it's only turning at about 75, 70 percent. Yeah. But the fact is, it's still turning. It's still turning. And to make it, for it to not turn, it has to go below 50. And it'd be, it's rare that it ever goes below 50. Even right now, even in the midst of a shutdown, we're mm -hmm. still at like 70 percent. It's yeah. still turning. It's still working. It's going to take a catastrophe to stop it. Listen, you know what? You're absolutely correct in that regard. It's, it's more of a, it's a game that the mm -hmm. politicians play. Mm -hmm. you it's know? not the end of the world. Uh, like, like right now, it's really funny because uh, this uh, senator from, from uh, Nevada, this lady, I forget her name. What's her name? Catherine Cortez Masto. Democrat, Nevada, okay. She puts a thing out there where she says that she's going to donate for every day that the government is shut down mm -hmm. her daily salary to some kind of a charity. Okay? Why, why did it take a government shutdown for her to decide to do this? Because it's a smoke and mirrors <laughs> type of situation. It's a game. You know? <laughs> it's a game. It's yeah. a game. It's a, you know, whatever. The funny thing is, is that this same person makes a big TV announcement, cameras, lights, blah, big news, boom, boom, boom. Yet she's working with a guy in the White House that gives his entire salary to charity. Mm -hmm. You know, and nothing is said about that. So, anyways, those are the games that I really have a hard time. It's not politics that we're talking about. But it, the game is like, when are they going to get serious and start really doing work for the people? Um, so stop the hypocrisy. I appreciate your your mentioning that you're going to give away the your money. But um, just go back to Washington, solve the problem, do some work. Otherwise, it's going to fire your beyond. W wouldn't it be nice? Say you're working somewhere. Uh uh, I'll, t I'll toss out GM plant, just for it as an example, mm -hmm. right? <clears throat> Bosses came to you, you're just uh, an assembly worker. Boss came to you and said, we're shutting it down. You go, why? Well, because uh, the higher-ups are arguing. But the crux is, check this out. We're going to keep paying you. You don't have to show up. We're going to send your checks regularly, and at the end of the shutdown, you can come back. Yeah. That sounds awesome to me. <laughs> I want that. I do. Well, it, listen, that's the way <laughs> that's the system nice. actually works everywhere. Because let's, let's do this. Teacher caught molesting children. The union says, well, no, he cannot be fired. So he's suspended with salary. So now he's on a permanent vacation somewhere. Somewhere, yeah. Getting it, paid for being a dog, you know? But I think that goes to highlight the rule in that nothing in this life is fair. Not a single thing. Things that you think are supposed to be fair, they're not. And that's just the way it is. You well, know, there's always, there's always going to be problems somewhere. But that's not to say that, you know, it's going to be constant problems. You you're to, touching on something yeah. that I've always talked about. Because that, for a while there, I don't, I don't hear it that much, but you st it's still very much out there. Yeah. Whenever some, you try to bring somebody to the table and, and, and ask for responsibility, the word was, it's not fair. Okay, for a kid... It's, nothing is ever fair, you know, mm -hmm. up to maybe 10 years old. I have a bedtime. I have to do this. I have to take yes. naps. And now as an adult, you go, oh, God, I'd love a nap. Please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not fair. Okay, you can, uh, you, know. <laughs> you know. It's like I remember when I was a kid, you know, like, oh, Mom, I feel sick. Oh, I've had fever. 
But as soon as school let out and I hear my mates go by the street and everything else, mom, can I go out and play? Yeah. No. Yep. That's not fair. <laughs> you're That's sick. That's not fair. I, I, <laughs> no, you're still sick. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, the, the no fair was still around for a long, long time. But uh, you know what? There is no such thing as it's not fair. I mean, you create your circumstances. Mm -hmm. Fair or not fair? Pay the price. Mm -hmm. Pay the price. We will be right back. Time is flying way too fast. See you in a little bit. The smartest way for you to get the lowest prices on your plane tickets, domestic or international, is to call SmartFares first or last, but you've got to call us before you book your plane tickets. Fly anywhere in the world, fly anywhere in the U.S., and SmartFares can save you up to 75% on your plane tickets. We have the lowest airline ticket prices on over 500 airlines, and you've got a great 12-hour free cancellation window. Plus, with our live agent and help, you can always get fast help and fast answers. So on your next trip, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, how about right now? Pick up your phone and call SmartFares, plus save up to 75% in your plane reservation. So call right now. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. Do you owe back taxes to the IRS? News flash, the president has changed the tax laws. And now, you may be able to pay the IRS less. If you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes, the tax doctor can help you pay the IRS as little as possible allowed by law. There are new tax laws for business owners, the self-employed, even W-2 workers. If you have a back tax problem or a few years of unfilled returns, new help to save you money is now here. Call right now to see how the new tax Tax laws can help you. Plus, right now, we'll waive the consultation fee and give you a free tax savings report. Attention business owners, the self-employed, and W-2 workers. Make this free call to the tax doctor now and learn how to take advantage of the new tax laws that may help you pay the IRS less. 800-985-1610. 800-985-1610. 800-985-1610. That's 800-985-1610. back again speaking of uh happy christmas do you see about this company flora craft no gave four million clams man four Whee! million bucks for employee bonuses what yeah each, how many employees each, well i don't know exactly how many there are but each one of us is about to go it's going to get about $20,000. Oh, wow. Talk about a Merry <laughs> Christmas, huh? You know? I That's mean, a Christmas. You, you know what? I was looking at the company. You know what they do is that Flora Craft is the people that make all those start those foam things where you put uh, fake plants where you make crafts with. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You buy yeah. Them like Michael's, decoration. Like the, the, yeah. The little star that you put all those yeah. things in there for flowers and mm -hmm. stuff. That's what they make. I, I think we're in the wrong business. <laughs> 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 We're going to have to go buy ourselves a barrel of styrofoam pellets and start forming things. <laughs> I mean, seriously. I used to, years ago, I worked for a company called General Plastics here. Mm. And I operated a press, you know. And um, they had these people that come over with these barrels of these little pellets. Mm -hmm. Put them in there. Boom, boom, boom. And I would run this thing. And it never failed to amaze me. You know, like you see all these little pellets coming through the tube, and then all of a sudden all the water rushes out of them, and there's this box where you put toys. Mm -hmm. 
or formatted. It's amazing. I mean, like, but that, that's what these people do more or less. It's, it's based on, on that principle of pressing figures to put the f whatever. I mean, little these little things with a little metal. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it, it's trinkets and things that people like to use to just like mundane things. And it seems the mundane things are the way to go as far as making just like a killing and profit because it, there are things that people don't necessarily need, but they want. And the want is a powerful desire. Yeah. But you know what? A lot of times people try to make something that is like huge, massive thing. Oh, yeah. These, these people make dollar fifty little items. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. By the gazillions, you know? Mm -hmm. I think it's, a, I mean, like American Enterprise at its best because it's like they found a way to capitalize on something simple but in bunches. Creativity and ingenuity right there. You know, yeah. Well, it worked for the workers. 20 grand, Yes, man. it did. That's it. It's a nice bonus. I wonder if CRN is going to give bonuses. Hmm. 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 Mike? <laughs> I said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get away with it because he's my buddy. <laughs> uh, okay, what else are we going to talk about, man? So, be... I mean, we, we, we talked about um, New Year's resolutions. What's yours? You yep. know what? I really don't have any particular resolution that I want to carry out or anything else. Um, I do want to, and I started already, okay? Yeah. I started revamping my way of thinking. Okay. Because I used to get, I would get into something in my head, and if it didn't happen to work fast enough, I would get all pissed off about it. Mm. And then discard it. Because, yeah, ah, that's a bad idea because you know. When in fact, I've always been a good planner. I've always been somebody who sees things from start to finish. Yeah, very well, very clearly before I even get started. Mm. You know, I mean, I. And that's a talent in and of its own, by the way. I. I, I, I've been told that, you know, and uh, I've always been a success in, in, in that particular f situation where I'm not a f fly by the seat of my pants type of a guy. I mean, you know, like, I mean, on everything that I've ever done. Yeah. I, I, I see it, I plan it, I, I really, and then I go deep into it, I dive into it and see it flourish, you know. I kind of gave that up a little bit, and I have to tell you one thing. Um, I've had a couple of reversals in my life, in the, my late stage of life. Yeah. That kind of made me insecure. As they tend to do. You yeah, know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to a lot of people here, and so I'm going like, oh, <laughs> the guy's not secure? Yeah. No, no, I mean, the, the fact is, is like... Uh, I'm a human being. I got frailties. I got, you know, fears and the whole thing all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. um, I gave up a little bit too much to the age factor. I what felt, do you mean? Well, I felt that when I reach a certain age, I was just a useless git out there, you know. Okay, so you're at the age where you're not you're not as spry as you used to be. So you're you're trying to compensate, but compensating makes it worse and you just don't know how to deal with it. I I feel spry, I feel energetic. I just feel I and I I have to qualify that. Okay. I felt oh, up okay. until a couple months ago yeah. when I, you know, I had a cup to Jesus thing with myself. Uh I started feeling a little useless hmm. I felt that you know things were not working because I was already past my prime type of a thing gotcha okay you know? I understand. and funny enough I see a lot of people out there including Donald Trump not to be politic yeah where the guy is like up 72 energetic as all hell running all over and planning to run for president again until he's 80 you know I'm going like what am I groaning about? And <laughs> running the country is not like running a company. <laughs> My job should be a lot easier. So anyway, that's where it is. My resolution is just to be better. Uh, it's a good one. It's a start. It's something. Yeah. And it's realistic. We'll be right back.
Were you scammed into signing a timeshare contract? And did you miss the part that said you have to pay for your great idea? Not only for the rest of your life, but when you're not here anymore, you get to pass this turkey onto your family for them to pay for the rest of their lives. Thanks, Dad. Don't burden your family down the road, and don't be stuck with expensive timeshare payments forever. Get out of your bad idea, timeshare contract, guaranteed, or pay nothing. Call Resort Release today and learn for free how their timeshare Share exit team can help you legally exit your timeshare contract. They've helped thousands of people and they're A plus rated with a BBB. So if you feel scammed, get mad and get out of your expensive timeshare contract right now, guaranteed. Call N O W 800 716 9903. 800 716 9903. 800 716 9903. That's 800 716 9903. You're experiencing pain, back pain, shoulder, elbow, or hand pain, pain from a sports injury. If so, schedule a visit with Dr. Michael Sheps, the leading expert in laser therapy for pain management. Call 310 873 4422 or go to drsheps.com. Experience Epic T, the breakthrough laser therapy system that Dr. Sheps developed to make you pain free in less time. Laser therapy is a non invasive, safe, and effective office procedure that penetrates deep into your skin without damaging the tissue it perfectly targets areas of pain to promote fast natural healing relax your muscles ease muscle spasms joint stiffness and arthritis pain while increasing blood circulation for over 25 years dr sheps has helped olympic athletes and sports enthusiasts alike get back in the game schedule your visit with dr sheps at his brentwood office in california call 310-873-4422 or visit drsheps.com that's d-r-s-h-e PS.com 3108734422 If Ernest Hemingway was alive today, would he say this to you? Shakespeare, Mark Twain, Edgar Allan Poe, all great writers. And after reading your book, I simply must add you to the list. Wait, you don't have a book yet. So make a free call to Page Publishing. Their expert staff can help you turn your book idea into a real book, a masterpiece that could someday make the bestseller list in hard copy and digitally all across the world. Page Publishing can help you completely take your idea for a book, write it, and publish it. So if you want to join the ranks of some of the most famous authors in the world, call now for a free information kit. Turn your book idea into publishing gold. Make a free call right now to Page Publishing. 800-378-3212. 800-378-3212. That's 800-378-3212. back and time just flew 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 uh, what is there to say We're supposed to be getting a little bit of rain this uh, weekend I guess really I thought uh, I thought it was coming in uh, later next week but I might be mistaken. But, but they said by Monday, Tuesday, we're supposed to be. But then again, you know what? Look, the weather people can tell you the <laughs> temperature in Mars and in Neptune and all over the place. They just cannot tell you what to wear your long johns here on Earth. <laughs> man. So I don't know. I don't know. I'll tell you one secret, though. Ah. Look up. If you get a little wet stuff in your eye, it's starting to rain. Oh. <laughs> That's it, man. If you feel something fall wet. Yeah, that's it. Time to go. Anyway, listen, it's time to say Merry, Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, please be safe. What are you going to be doing for Christmas, man? Uh, hanging out with family. You know? Just chilling. You know, kick your feet up. Enjoy, uh, enjoy everyone while you have them. You know what? Uh, I, uh, this year, I'm not going to have my dad with me here because he's in Costa Rica and a little too frail to travel. Uh, besides, the loss of my brother has cause for him to not want to come. He, I think he's at that stage of his life. He's 94 years old, and I think wow. by, by staying there and not going to the grave, he still thinks my brother's okay, you know, somehow. 
I think. I yeah, think. whichever way he's trying to reconcile yeah. it. Yeah, he's, he's having a little bit of a hard time reconciling with the fact that he's gone. And, and me too. I mean, you know, like he was my younger brother and loved him. And uh, it's one of those things that happens. You have a lot of family here? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, cousins mostly. Uh, here, yeah. Yeah, here, and then uh, the main, the majority of my main family is out on the East Coast. Oh, Tennessee? Yes. No, when you said family, I thought you were going back to Tennessee. No, 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 no. I did that for Thanksgiving, so this, uh, the, for Christmas, is going to be with the cousins. That's good. That's yeah. good. I, um, I'm just going to be, like, hanging around. Tooling around, taking pictures, <laughs> getting. I, I'm actually going to be. Right now, I have this big dedication to modifying the show. We're going to be like really revamping it. Come 2019, it's going to be like a bomb of a show. It's going to be like great topics. I'm actually working on a brand new list of guests. I'm programming like five shows ahead of time. And it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be the best. It's gonna be like something sweet. And it's gonna be very nice. People are gonna be really, really enjoying it very much. And uh, I do it all for you, babies. Can I say? <laughs> so yeah, no, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of quiet for me. Um, usually, uh, we had uh, you know I lost my father-in-law, and so like things are kind of somber around the house yeah. in that regard. Um. But hey, listen, go out, play with the dog, and have a good time. I mean, it's a, you people out there, don't drink too much. Don't drink and drive. Just be safe. Be good. And remember, red Ferrari is preferable. Yellow, if you're going to find red. I'm still going to get you a pink one to match those glasses. Yeah. You know what? Hey, I'll take a pink one. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm proud. It's still a Ferrari. <laughs> still a Ferrari. It still drives. <laughs> Dude, like uh, many years ago, I, uh, I had this big old boat, and my uncle wanted, he always said, oh, man, if I only had that boat. So one time I, I found this little thing that had, it was a 150-foot boat, which had a It had a little boat with 150 little feet. <laughs> and I called him up and I said, hey, uncle, I'm sending my 150-foot boat over there. Can you take care of it for him? <laughs> and he's like, what? <laughs> Then I send him the thing. So anyway. <laughs> anyway, that was our eternal joke. Listen, anything at all, uh, lifestylebustoday at gmail.com. And uh, that's about it for us. Have a safe one. Merry Christmas. Sing Jingle Bells. Bye-bye.